In this presentation, we're going to be looking at something that not everybody needs, but everybody wants. How to improve your self-confidence in the workplace. The funny thing about confidence is that even if you have enough, it can always feel like you need more. Maybe you had a terrible day at the office where you could have said something clever but didn't speak up. Or maybe you crushed it today and are just looking to make sure you crush it tomorrow. In either case, you still want to know how to go to work the next day grabbing the bull by the horns. Well, I'm here to tell you five ways you can do that. 1. Dress up. This is such a simple tip that some people barely consider it advice. The response I'll usually hear is, what will dressing up do for me? Or, but I've dressed up before and no one noticed. The goal, however, is not to get other people to notice you. It is to get you to notice you. Dressing nice is a confidence booster because it will strengthen the line between you and other people. When you're the best dressed person in the building, you'll be able to see yourself as different in a good way. 2. Laugh at yourself. It is pretty easy to convince people that this advice works. It's a lot harder to convince people to actually do it. Laughing at yourself, or at least being able to laugh at yourself, is a critical component to being confident. To laugh at yourself is to say, I don't mind that I make mistakes. I still find myself enjoyable to be around. This is not only an attractive quality to others, but develops a habit of not being irritated with yourself. 3. Know the power stances. People are complicated. We are both products and producers of chemical reactions. One of the chemicals involved in those chemical reactions is testosterone. This chemical is usually associated with manliness, but that is not a totally correct correlation. Testosterone is a chemical that inhibits empathy and cultivates blood flow. Essentially, it makes it easier to ignore your feelings as well as easier to act. Ignoring your own feelings is a big part of confidence, as your feelings can be a whirlwind of emotions, and sometimes it's better to cool those feelings off. The funny thing is that you can actually trigger testosterone production in your body with certain postures. The classic Superman-looking hands on the hips with your chest puffed out posture will trigger testosterone production in your body. 4. Think of yourself less. C.S. Lewis once said, Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. Self-confidence is crippled by thinking too frequently or too deeply about your own self. Whether you are admiring yourself or criticizing yourself, both are expressions of the kind of vanity that can eventually turn toxic. If you can bring yourself to instead admire the world around you, what you will find is that doing so develops a habit of positivity that at the same time keeps you from indulging in hurtful self-criticism. 5. Ask others for help. This is the hardest advice for self-confidence of all. To begin with, it's hard to believe that making yourself vulnerable will result in confidence. But it will. And the reason for that is because once you open yourself up and find that you were allowed to be more vulnerable than you thought, you'll feel more comfortable doing it again. Self-confidence means not being afraid, and if you're afraid to ask for help, then you aren't really that confident. Confidence in the workplace can be highly reliant on your environment. If your workplace is toxic, focus on keeping yourself safe first. But if you can find the time, then building yourself up is always worth it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.